I'm Buzz Bishop and this is Future Shop at CES 2011. We're visiting Logitech right now. Kevin's going to run us through some of the accessories that are moving to the TV. Buzz, nice to meet you. Nice to see you. So, I mean, Logitech is great for accessories for a computer, but it really is moving into the television. It is, and we've started it with the smart TV category with Google TV. Uh, what I want to do is take a little time and walk you through some of the features, and let's just start it off right away with what it is, right? It's the perfect experience and combination of live TV and all things of the Internet. You can bookmark any TV show or any website that you like, right, for easy access to immediately. In addition to that, the product comes preloaded with some apps. The App Store will be opening up sometime in uh, the middle, early to middle 2011 calendar year. But for now, this is what's included. Some of the exciting things I want to show you when you look at it, we've got a Logitech media player. So if you're a consumer, you've got some content that's DNLA certified, maybe it's on a NAS drive in your office, perhaps your own computer or a USB stick, you have the ability to access that content. And then going back, one of the things I also want to show you is Logitech Bit HD. So that on the top of the TV, you're going to notice there's a TV cam. Yeah. From that, what it is is 720p video, two bi-directional microphones, right? So you can call anybody anywhere in the world on any PC, right, with any webcam. That means for other manufacturers, perhaps Creative or Microsoft, we'd prefer if you used a Logitech camera, but if you didn't, we're not going to penalize you. So from that, let's make a call and see if we can get somebody to answer. Hey. So there you go. So what you have here is the option now, whether you're calling TV cam to TV cam or any other webcam anywhere in the world, you can do it from the comfort of your own couch for the first time ever. Thanks, guys. Now, one of the things that we're noticing is, that, is this is all uh, separate boxes. It's not really built into the set, so we can go anywhere with, the, with our hardware that we've got at home, right? Absolutely. Uh, you definitely have several different options with Google TV, right? We make the companion box, Logitech Review with Google TV, that connects to any of the HD TVs in our existence, right? So if you bought something in the past few years, you'll love it, right? You love the picture, why get rid of it? Simply add this box. Now you think about if you're in the market for a new TV, as a consumer, you've got a wide breadth of choice out there, right, uh, for many of the manufacturers. Uh, but predominantly, if you're looking at Google TV, you've got to decide, do I want Google TV or perhaps just Internet TV with a few widgets? The difference is a big one, right? You can get to the entire Internet with Google TV, or you can just get to those selected apps with those select uh, partners that have Internet TVs today. Okay, now this is, uh, now we get the catch, right? Because we've shown all this great Google TV content, but it's not quite available in Canada just yet. That is the catch, yeah, you bring up a good point, Buzz. Um, the reality of it is uh, Google, ourselves, right, and our other partners are working hard to get that done. Um, it's either going to be somewhere towards the end of calendar year 2011 or early 2012. Soon. Yes. Er, ish. All right, so I mean, this is great. Smart TV is one of the big trends we're seeing here at CES, and this is how Logitech is working on it with Google, and uh, we'll get it on our TVs soon-ish. For more on Smart TV and some of the trends here at CES 2011, you can check out the blog. It's at futureshop.ca.